Hi everybody, welcome back to Level Uploading, Five Feelings Face Facts with yours truly. Okay, so this is something completely different. Um, I really just want to do this for myself. This is not even really about Level Up. Um, this is not about Anchor. This is not about Spotify. This is not about Apple. This is not about YouTube. This is about me having something to commemorate my grandmother with. Um, having something to look back on. Having something to just have for her. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read off what I wrote for my grandmother. Um, I'm going to here, I'm going to read to you guys the speech that I prepared for her um, for her funeral. I'm going to try to get through it. Um, and then also I'm going to play a clip of the poem that I wrote and performed for her. Um, at a open mic and so um, for the for the poem I just want to forewarn you everyone you know um, the name of the poem it does have an expletive in it and I'm sorry not sorry I can completely and truly feel that way so it is what it is but let me just hop right into it hope you guys enjoy honestly if you don't that's fine too. Like I said, this is for me. No one else. Just sharing it with you guys because I just feel like I need to and I'm going to. So there's that. Okay. <sighs> Deep, calming breaths. Deep, calming breaths. <sighs> okay. Here we go. My grandma was the perfect blend of sugar and spice. Feisty, lively, affectionate, and oh so fly. She honestly made an impression everywhere she went. People just flocked to her. It's like she was a magnet of good energy that everyone could and would cling to. She spoiled me rotten, but the good kind of spoiled. Wink, wink. She loved me so intentionally. I still miss the days of her rubbing my arm, back, or stomach till I dozed off. But trust and believe if she dare stopped, I would jerk or grunt, and she'd start back. She never complained. She just kept pouring on the love. I remember her cutting up strawberries and adding a little sugar if they weren't the sweet kind that we liked. I remember her making two separate dinners because what I wanted and what Papa wanted were... Let's just say different. I remember my 13-year-old aunt, a.k.a. Dr. Coleman, throwing shade a little bit back then because, like I said, I was a spoiled brat. I could pretty much do no wrong in her eyes. I can only remember one time when my grandma was upset with me, and even then it was a gentle disappointment, which for me probably was worse. One of my latest memories was, was her... My aunt and my dad coming to visit me in Nashville, my new home away from home. We had a time. And like I said, my grandma drew people in everywhere she went, no matter what city, state, or organization. Seeing her enjoying the museum and being in the virtual choir, to her eating good, then visiting one of her, my favorite jazz spots, even participating in the band, those were adult memories that I will cherish forever. My grandma loved everyone in the ways that fit them best. She always knew how to make you feel loved, even in the smallest gestures. And she was always with the times. The only 80 plus year old I knew with an iPad and iPhone that she used faithfully and seamlessly. I've seen her battle and conquer so much. Her strength, resilience, and disposition while facing adversity is something I continue to model my life after. It's so many questions I should have asked, so many recipes I should have learned, so much old school tea we could have sipped. But I won't and I don't dwell on that. I will continue to remember the memories we did have and the moments we did share and the extraordinary love that my grandma bestowed upon me till the very end. The last words I heard from her lips were, love you. <sighs> I 
second. And I promise you, in a world, I was doing so good. In a world where you have to question so much, that is one thing that I've never had to question. I love you, Grandma, and we will miss you so, so much. Rest in peace. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, sorry, I had a moment um, there, but thank you for listening. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and play the clip of the poem that I have. I may insert some pictures as well. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, this is more so for myself. Just a way for you guys to get to know a little bit more about me. But also, just for me to have this time capsule, I want to remember, I want to remember how I feel in this moment. Have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. This is a poem I wrote for my grandma. You walked into our lives. Destruction was your mission. You never considered our feelings, never asked for our permission. Aggressively progressive, you plow full speed ahead. And no matter what the treatment, your goal was just to spread. But you never stole her light, and she never lost her smile. She never let us see her pain while going through this trial. Though you slowly drained her daily, left her feeling weak and sickly, I guess we never imagined you'd meet your goal so quickly. We'll miss you forever, girl. Your light, the laughs, the fun. I hope that when you reach those gates, you were greeted with, well done. You'll never get to see me married or meet my first stepchild. But when I think of you looking down on us, I just can't help but smile. So as we all just go on living, finding new ways to be okay, I want to make sure that I'm very clear with what I'm about to say. It will forever and always, and I do mean always, Thank you.